we're going to prime my face with the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer just to make sure that my makeup will last throughout the Halloween night. Next, I'm using the Revlon Nearly Naked Makeup Foundation in the shade Vanilla, and as you can see, you definitely want a shade much lighter than your normal skin tone because you are a zombie, which means you're dead, meaning you have very pale skin, and also don't be afraid to get it on your lips because zombies don't have coloration in their lips, and it'll help out later. And next up, I'm applying my Maybelline New York Concealer in the shade Fair Claire over any blemishes or redness. It'll just help everything look smoother and look better later on, and I'm blending that with my e.l.f. The Stippling Brush. And now onto the fun stuff, I'm using my Maybelline New York eyeshadow in the shade Forest Green and just using an old brush that I found. I'm blending that into my crease and focusing it into my inner corner because that's definitely where it's going to be the darkest. And so just blend that all in so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm taking another Maybelline New York palette, this one's called Mocha Motion, and taking the darkest color from that and focusing it into my inner corner again to darken it all up. These next few seconds are basically just a massive fail. What I was trying to do was contour my nose with that darkest color again. Realized I used the wrong brush, tried to clean it up, and as you can see, everything just got worse and worse, and it was just a massive train wreck. So after I somehow managed to clean that up, I went in with my Sonia Kashuk fan brush number 128 and contoured the other side of my nose. Then to add even more depth to my eyes, I'm taking these really pretty purple and brown colors and putting those in my inner corner, of course, to make everything look deeper and darker. To finish up my eyes, I'm taking this big fluffy brush and fanning over the green color from before into my mostly my inner corner and then also around my nose a little bit. And next, I'm going to be contouring my cheekbones with the Sonia Kashuk fan brush and also the green again. And I'm going to just carve out my cheekbones and then make sure you blend it out a lot. I'm also contouring my temples with the same fan brush and then blending it out later with my fluffy brush and try to make that look as blended as possible and as natural as a zombie can be. Then I am contouring my jawline and bringing the colors down my neck a little bit with the fan brush and fluffy brush to make it all realistic looking and then also I just really like the effect that it gives the whole costume. Next, I'm just dusting over the green onto my chin just to add a little bit of extra down on the bottom part of my face. Next, we are making some zombie bruises, and for this first placement, this was a terrible idea because it makes my cheeks look super chubby on that side, but basically you just take the purple and brown color from before and make little circles of them in wherever part of your face you desire, and it'll look like a bruise. And now onto the lips. To make them look even more dead, since they're already pale, you're going to take that grayish color and put it, try to focus it on the inside, but kind of all over your lips to discolor them. And to set all the powders on your face before we add blood or lip gloss, we are going to use a lighter powder and put it all over your face to set everything so none of it comes off or smudges or anything like that. And now for my personal favorite part, we're using the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain Lip Gloss in the shade New York Scene and focusing it on the inside of your lips to look like you just ate a human. It's casual, I guess. I mean, everyone does it, right? And if you've ever seen a zombie movie, you'll know that they are not the cleanest eaters, so we're going to draw some blood dripping out of our mouth with the lip gloss and kind of point it out at the end, but also smudge it up with your fingers a little bit just to make it look more realistic. And then create some other wounds wherever you want on your face and smudge it up with your fingers and then add some darker eyeshadow over it. And I kind of messed this up so I had to redo it, but it just helps it look like dried up and nastier. 
And these next few steps are totally optional, but I wanted to add my Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in the shade Black Brown, and then also a super light coat of my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. And to take the place of eyeliner, I'm using my dark gray color on a little brush and adding that to my lower lash line. And that is it guys for the makeup. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for my outfit and hair. So we are going to jump right into my outfit. I'm wearing a flannel from American Eagle and any darker flannel will work. I'm wearing a white shirt that I clearly destroyed just a little bit from Target. Tilly's shorts that are ripped up, and then also my white Converse high tops. So making my zombie shirt was actually really easy. I just cut off my neckline and the bottom part with some scissors, made a few holes in it, took the lip gloss that I used for my blood and made some marks and smudges all over, and then took the gray and green eyeshadow and used a big fluffy brush and put that all over the shirt as well. And my hair was also super simple. I just took day old curls and teased it like crazy and just pinned back my sides on that one side. And that was literally it. So easy. Okay guys, that is it for my DIY zombie costume. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed, gave this a thumbs up, and commented what you're being for Halloween. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.